This is a map of maritime East Asia. You have this uh, amazing snapshot um, from the early 17th century of what mariners thought about their world. We have, you know, modern maps in textbooks today by modern scholars that recreate these systems of merchant routes to show students how Chinese merchants traded. But we have nothing like this where you have um, a map that's actually made by merchants, Chinese merchants in the 17th century, that depict their world um, as a series of routes, as if they know all of those routes and can imagine them as a coherent picture. When I to when 是不是中心不取决于，是取决于方方面面的因素，是很多的主观因素来决定的。The the other kind of amazing bit about this Selden map, in, and this tells you a little bit about the context of its production, um, when it was restored, on the back of the map, uh, there was found what was called the trunk route. The trunk route runs from southern Japan, past a point offshore Fujian, and then down to the Mele Peninsula. And it actually shows how the map was made uh, because they, they drafted this route first uh, using a drafting compass. And if you look closely on the front, you can actually see the semicircles on some of the dots used to make the routes where the drafting compass is being used to mark the next point on the route. Um, and then on top of that, there's this kind of beautiful aesthetic layer of art that depicts the natural world surrounding these ports. There's something really interesting to me about historical objects that, you know, uh, I found this map, you know, by traditional historical archive works, but they also kind of appear at a time when we need them. Uh, it spoke to lots of people in the 17th century in different ways, and it actually speaks to lots of different people today in very different ways. When I 嗯, 这是我最大最深刻的想法。